Welcome to On the Brick with Soulbrick. I'm Soulbrick, you are the viewer. In today's episode we will be working on a music store from a custom Lego city called Soul Town. Music is rhythm and I'm serious as cancer when I say that rhythm is a dancer. The spot where it will be placed is over this road section over here. So just as I have a fake tunnel over there, I will create one over here and then place the building on top of it. So there will be a staircase leading up to it. The build will be inspired by this older version of the music store that I had in a previous version of Soul Town. The big difference is the size, but also that it will have a lot of instruments inside and a full detailed interior. First order of business is to put in this black backdrop, nothing fancy about it, just a stable build that will be resting on the shelf that I have underneath here. Hold on, this is not the full build, I am going to divide this video into segments, so I'm going to show you the different parts of this build, so this is just the first part. Down here we have the street that will connect to the rest of the city, and then this little staircase here will connect to the up and coming train station. This black pillar is just a placeholder to keep everything up. This will of course connect to the other part of the tunnel. I really wanted to make this cramped and cozy. So here you have the little arch and a staircase that goes right through it. And this part is letting in a lot of light there, but also on the side. And next to here, there will probably be some sort of a building. So that's just why I kept it very plain. Speaking of plain, I tried to make it a bit unplain on the front here, adding those different sorts of details to make it look a bit more fun and interesting, but still keeping a clean look to it. But as usual, I am mixing old gray and new gray just to get that worn look. Inside of the windows, I wanted to showcase some interesting instruments like the keyboard, we have a violin, we have the saxophone, and we have the bagpipe, which of course is the most beautiful sound you can ever hear. This wall is also kept clean because this is where the barrel for the sardine factory is placed. I do like this very narrow wall we have here with the windows. Side of here you can see a lady listen to some beats that is on her way to the music store and we have some advertisement for a record. And then the staircase goes up here and we have some more stuff on the side. I really like this view. I put some stickers on the wall there kind of like advertisement for stuff. We have a look at all of those nice posters, adding a lot of color to that otherwise gray wall. Now let's take a peek inside. We have the manager, Ulla Britta. She's been working here since the 70s, but you can tell that her real hair color is gray because she has that lovely natural pink look. Behind her, we have a lot of records on display on the wall and then have her counter the desk over there. Over here we have the customer Ulla Britta that is looking through all of those nice vinyl records in this brick built crate. All in all a pretty lovely cramped space. This is just the first floor so let's take a look at the next floor. That goes on top like so. Maybe a bit simpler than the previous floor but I wanted to have that European old medieval look to it. Let's add a design here for the note. It's always fun to work with brittle brown. These pieces uh, got busted while building this. Since this wall was so plain, I didn't want that to happen to this floor. So that's why we have a little bill that's shooting out from the main building. I do like these arches that will hold the roof in place. And on side here we have of course a ventilation unit and we have some graffiti adding a lot of funky vibes to this build. Get funky! So pretty cool facade. Let's take a look on the inside. Oh look, there's a bunch of punk kids uh, making some lovely music. Inside of the funny bill we have the congas and then we have some maracas, drum set, vinyl player, a lot of rock and roll guitars and some acoustics. We got the microphones, we got some other instruments here on the side. We have a nice sticker behind there, keyboards, speakers, violins and all of that good stuff. And here, of course, we have Lisa playing the saxophone. All in all, pretty fun floor, a lot of stuff going on in here. I thought it was really fun to try to display as many of the different Lego instruments that we have at hand. I could stare at this for hours, it's such a fun floor, but we don't have time for that. So let's look at the final floor. 
Oh, wait a second, I can hear my cat wrecking stuff. And he wants you to subscribe to my channel. Maybe donate via the thanks button and leave a like and comment. Hey, Sutis. So we are back and here is the final floor, which is the attic or the roof. I built this chimney upside down. I think that looks quite fun. I like the roof parts over the windows. Kind of looks like some sort of baseball caps. Let's take a look on the inside of this floor. Here is where you have more of the tech stuff. You get your boom boxes, you get your iPads, mixer tables. Here's a screen with a music video playing just like back in the days when MTV used to play music videos. And these uh, stickered speakers over here and back there, there are some note papers. All right, I think all of this looks quite impressive and fun when you look at it as a total, especially like how this shape comes into play now. It looks super cozy. It's an interesting and intricate design. Before we pop it in this place, just turn it around so we can get a 360 view of it. I mean, that just looks so pretty. Of course, I need to remove that black pillar and then this will hopefully not break when I do this. A quick note about my layout. It's only three base plates deep. And the reason is that I want to be able to easily have access to stuff back there. It's quite hard on your back to uh, try to reach further than that. For me, I'm 180 centimeters. I don't know what that's in yards, but still that's something to consider when you are building your layout. With that said, I think this looks super nice. The coming buildings that will be more like facades almost the same idea that I have over here, will be in a similar style here, going up to the mountain there, where the mountain medieval village will be. Let's have some drone footage over the build, so we get a good look at it. Well, 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 what a mighty fine layout indeed. With that said, make sure to stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, and please subscribe.